Today, we will talk about the information ratio, IR, versus the Sharp ratio. The main subject of this topic is the information ratio, IR. The information ratio measures portfolio returns above the returns of a benchmark, such as an index, compared to the volatility of those returns. It's used to evaluate a portfolio manager's skill at generating returns in excess of a given benchmark. The tracking error identifies how consistently a portfolio tracks the performance of an index. A low tracking error means the portfolio is consistently beating the index. The IR is calculated by dividing the difference in portfolio and benchmark performances by the tracking error. Tracking error measures the consistency in which a portfolio tracks the performance of an index. To calculate IR, subtract the portfolio return from the benchmark return and divide by the tracking error. This helps identify whether a portfolio is exceeding a benchmark index fund. The information ratio identifies how much a fund has exceeded a benchmark. Higher information ratios indicate a desired level of consistency, whereas low information ratios indicate the opposite. It's used to determine whether a portfolio is exceeding a benchmark index fund and to measure the risk or volatility associated with an investment. The IR calculation can help provide a quantitative result of how well your fund is being managed. The Sharpe Ratio is an indicator of risk-adjusted returns and factors in the risk-free rate of return. The IR measures the risk-adjusted return in relation to a benchmark and measures the consistency of an investment's performance. The index comparison makes the IR more appealing to investors since index funds are typically the benchmark used in comparing investment performance. Any ratio that measures risk-adjusted returns can have varied interpretations depending on the investor's risk tolerance levels. Each investor has different investment goals and the IR is interpreted differently depending on their needs. Comparing multiple funds against a benchmark is difficult because the funds might have different securities, asset allocations, and entry points in their investments. It's best to look at additional types of ratios and other financial metrics to make a more informed investment decision. A high IR can be achieved by having a high rate of return in the portfolio as compared to a lower return in the index as well as a low tracking error. A high ratio means that, on a risk-adjusted basis, a manager has consistently produced better returns compared to the benchmark index. For example, if you're comparing two different fund managers, the one with a lower standard deviation or tracking error would have a better IR, indicating less risk and more consistency of the portfolio's performance relative to the benchmark index. Here are three key takeaways. 1. The information ratio IR, measures portfolio returns above the returns of a benchmark, usually an index, to the volatility of those returns. 2. The information ratio is used to evaluate the skill of a portfolio manager at generating returns in excess of a given benchmark. 3. A higher IR result implies a better portfolio manager who's achieving a higher return in excess of the benchmark, given the risk taken. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.